Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Monday morning start of the vlog. Today, I just got out of the shower. I got a little bit of a late start. I'm gonna set you guys down and go through my whole skincare, my whole hair care routines. I have been wanting to do this for a while and I thought what better way to do it than right when I get out of the shower when I'm about to apply and do everything. So I'm gonna set you guys down and go through the whole shebang with you. Okay, so normally with my routine, I always start with my skin. So that's what I'm gonna do today. But a little background, if you haven't been following me for that long, you would not know that for the last like two-ish years, I have had absolute awful skin. I think it was a combination of moving to California the change in the air, the crappy water, all of it, but also like the stress of living on your own, being 18 and not knowing what the hell you're doing. So fast forward to this March when I came home for quarantine and I'm back in Wisconsin. That's where I still am. I found the key to life. I figured it out. I have the products. I have everything that works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you and you guys can get some tips that help your skin because everybody skin is different which makes these videos kind of annoying because I feel like whenever I watched them when I had awful skin I'd buy all the products and none of them would work so hopefully this helps you because I have very sensitive skin so if these are working for me and not breaking me out I feel like it wouldn't break most people out because my skin is like hypersensitive. I think it was either in July or August. I hopped on a Zoom call with a dermatologist here. Um, the offices weren't open at the time. So the Zoom call was like a little, I was like, how is she gonna be able to like see and like feel my skin and know what is gonna help this? But I got on the Zoom call and she changed my life. I'm now obsessed with her. And what's funny is that it took my mom a lot of convincing to even have me go talk to this dermatologist because I had a very bad taste in my mouth for dermatologists because when I lived in LA, I had a terrible experience with one. And of course it was just the worst possible time in general to have acne or bad skin because I was getting into modeling and makeup artists were doing my face. Like the fact that I've always had good skin and now when I moved to LA to model, now I have the worst skin I've ever had and nothing is working. It's the worst feeling in the world. So of course, I don't wanna go to a dermatologist again and get the same products or awful products that are gonna burn off my skin again and also spend like 200 more dollars on crop. And so I was like, oh my God, I don't wanna go. And my mom was like, this dermatologist is great. You have to go see her. And she was the best. Oh, I love her. <laughs> like I wanna be friends with her, she's so cool. But she prescribed me with another topical, which I was very skeptical about because obviously traumatized. And she also prescribed me with another pill which was not deoxycycline because I just didn't like that one. So every night I have now been using this on my skin and I honestly think it's the main thing that has helped. Tretin tretinoin cream, I think is how you say it, but this is the lowest dosage you can get of this, which I think that's why it works. 0.025% of this and it's literally the biggest bottle and I've used maybe that much of it in the last couple months and I still have so much left. You only use a little bit and you put it all over your face, even not your problem areas. You put it everywhere just to prevent it. This is gold. So this is more to clear up the acne on your skin. Of course, you're putting it on your skin. It's an actual cream um, and it's doing its work. But she also gave me this pill and it is spironolactin. I don't know. You take one pill per day and I get it refilled every month. So I have like a year's supply of this. And those two products together are literal magic for my skin. I know they work for a lot of different skin types, a lot of different skin issues. A lot of people use those products and they are so good. So let's get into some products I use now because I would like to moisturize my face because it's so dry right now. This is my go-to moisturizer. It's so good. It's the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I've been using this for years. It's so, so hydrating, especially with that topical. I needed something heavy duty 
and this is exactly it and it's not too expensive at Sephora and it works so well. I'm gonna use it right now because I already washed my face. Oh my god, I didn't even tell you guys what I washed my face with. Okay, backtrack. I actually just bought this and this is because I'm going through a skincare by Hiram Faze right now. If you know, you know. He raves about CeraVe. CeraVe? Why don't I know how to say this? This is a foaming facial cleanser and it's for normal to oily skin, which I actually in hindsight think I should have bought like the moisturizing cleanser or whatever the other cleanser is that they sell. They sell two of these, one for dry to normal skin and one to normal to oily. But I am on more of the dry side when it comes to my skin, actually very dry, especially in the winter when it's becoming colder weather like it is right now. I definitely should have gotten the other one, but this one has still been great for me. If I repurchase, I will definitely get the other one, but CeraVe has good, good, has a good name. Everybody loves CeraVe, so I wanted to try it. I'm honestly kind of like running out of this stuff. I hate that because it lasts so long. It's like not an annoying purchase that you have to purchase all the time, but when you do, you're like, oh. I'm out of it already. I really should have brought a mirror over here. <laughs> Something I also just love about this cream is that it's very lightweight. It's not thick. And I've noticed about my skin that my skin does not react good to thick products. It will break out and it like suffocates it. So I love that this one's still like ultra hydrating, but it's still like a very thin consistency and sinks into your skin. It doesn't just sit there. Okay, well, I think that that's all blended in and we now have a mirror. Okay, my next step is I spray this Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I just think that this feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like, doesn't do much, but just makes you feel really good, to be honest. Like, I just woke up. Okay, and then this is where it kind of separates into my nighttime routine or my daytime routine. So for daytime, I try to keep it very light and minimum and either I just do this or I'll add my Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is like the itty bitty mini baby. This was $40, how? I'll add a little bit of this. Um, but I'm actually like just about to do my makeup after this and I find that my foundation gets like a little more oily when I wear this under. So I'll wear this during the day when I'm not wearing makeup or I'll put it on at night if I'm not doing a mask that I'm about to show you. And actually sometimes during the day and sometimes most of the time at night, I will wear this moisturizer which is the Eve Lom, but I use this for an eye cream. So random. I think I said in my haul of when I was getting all these products that I was pretty sure that I was gonna use this just for like my neck and my eyes because this is such a thick cream. I knew because thick creams just don't go well with my skin a lot of the times, but I really wanted something thick and high quality for my under eyes because I mean, I'm 20, I'm not getting any younger. So I use this fancy little stick that they give you and I dip into it and I just do like that. Then I'll do like this and I'll put it on my neck. I just think that a lot of women and girls forget about their neck and you might not think that your neck is that big of a deal, but actually when you get older, your hands and your neck are like why people can tell what age you are because those are the two places that a lot of people just forget to moisturize. I've always used my ring finger for by my eyes because that is very fragile skin and you don't wanna like have crazy wrinkles or under eye bags, you know? And then for my last product that I would use during the day would be this Lineage, Lineage, Lineage Lip Sleeping Mask. This stuff is so good. It's like you purchase it and then you don't remember life before it. Like Chapstick has absolutely retired. And then I always put leftover lip balm on my cuticles. It's the trick to life. So many tricks in this video, I hope you're learning something. And then the last skin product I'm gonna talk about is if I am doing my nighttime routine and my skin is feeling a little crazy dry, 
This is my favorite mask of all time. Lenineage, Lenineage, I still don't know. I need to stop buying products from this brand if I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but this is the water sleeping mask. My skin has never felt so good waking up with this on and washing it off. This mask is magic. Um, It's insane. I just love this brand so far. These are the only two products that I've tried from them, but like, they're killing it in my book so far. And I use this, it says to use it two to three times a week, but I use it like three to four. It's like the best consistency, it's like jelly. And also I've had this for a while. I mean, for how many times I use it a week, I've had it for a while and it's still like cooking for me. So it goes down real deep and just like restores with moisture and nutrients. I don't know what happens at night when I have this on, but it's like not earthly. It's too good. Okay, so that was the long part. The skin always takes me way too long, but we're moving into hair. This is this goes quick. God, I'm all over the place, but there's only three products for this hair care routine. Don't worry. This starts with the Matrix Total Results Brass Off Color Obsessed Shampoo. This is crazy good. I think I've been blonde for... Oh my god years i think it's been like six years that i've been blonde six or seven years under my belt of trying to find good purple shampoo brass off products because my hair is very warm toned naturally and so to cool it and to find colors that will like bring out the white silvery tones in it can be difficult for me so I don't want to say I'm a professional, but like I've gone through many, many products and this is the best one when it comes to shampoo. This product makes your hair the coolest tone it can possibly be. This would not be possible without this. I use this every time I wash my hair. I don't know if you're supposed to not use it every time, but I use it every time. <laughs> and I do use regular shampoo before this because this is like totally for color correcting. It's not for like cleansing and shampooing your hair, even though it's called shampoo. If you're gonna buy a purple shampoo or purple brass off anything, buy this. Take a picture of it right now. It's the best product I think I've ever found for hair. Now getting to present day of where I'm at in my hair care routine, I now use the Purology Professional Color Care Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. 21 benefits. But before I brush my hair right when I get out of the shower, normally it's a little bit wetter, <laughs> but I've waited a while, so I use this like literally all over my hair and it makes the brushing process so much better. It smells so good. Brush my hair, I use a tangle teaser. And a big part of it is definitely the fact that I have like very thin, fine hair and it's never been that crazy hard to brush, but that spray makes everything so much smoother and just feels so hydrated. And I really focus it on my ends because it's amazing for split ends. And actually I don't just use this right out of the shower. I actually also will use this right before I go to bed. I wake up and it feels like it's freshly washed. It feels so soft. My last product, thank God we're here. This took way longer than I thought it was going to actually, but it's a hair oil. I never understood the hype of hair oils. I get it now. This is the Olaplex Bonding Oil. Whew! I think that there are a lot of hair oils out there that are amazing, but this is just the first one I've tried and I'm obsessed with it, especially putting it in your hair when it's still wet. I only put a little bit, but I find that it just like sinks into your hair so much more when it's wet. And then it dries with this spray and that oil. I'm like... My hair has never felt better, only like that much. And when your hair dries, you won't know what to do with yourself. Like you won't know how to feel. You're gonna feel that good and that cute that like you won't know how to act. That was my hair care and my skincare routine. I have to show you guys the final product of what my skin looks like now. I'm pretty sure on this side is the side that I still have like a little bit of scarring, but my skin looks so good and I'm so happy because it's been a long road. And then this is my hair looking clean, growing so much already and I'm killing it in this area of life right now. Not in many other areas, but hair care and skin care. This is what I made for breakfast. I swear you guys, this will never get old. 
my chocolate protein overnight oats they're so healthy they're so good and if you can tell in the background we had our first snowfall baby i literally cannot believe it's so bright out there but it snowed yesterday like all day long and so it kind of went away overnight but it's officially cold and wintry outside good afternoon everyone it is a few days later actually a while later i think i started this on monday and it's now friday halloween is tomorrow can we believe that i can't believe that but i've had a pretty good week and today i actually have been very productive it's almost two I think it's like 2.30 right now, actually. I've done a lot today. I've already filmed a brand new video for you guys, if you can guess what I did. Yes, I'm throwing it back to the OG YouTube days where people just sat down, chatted, did their makeup, and hung out. So this video is actually going up today, but that video will go up early next week, so get ready for that. And oh, I also, Got my nails done this week and you guys, this is a fact. I have never gotten my real nails done ever. Okay, my hair looks like a train wreck today. <laughs> so ignore that, but I've never gotten my real nails done. It's so embarrassing to admit. I've always gotten acrylics for years now. Even when I went to like high school homecomings and proms, I was the acrylics girl. And when I did modeling, I got my acrylics done every two weeks. And I've never done my real nails because I'm a nail biter, which is not cute and not fun to admit, but I am. And I did something really crazy and got my real nails done after I got my acrylics taken off. I went yesterday and I'm like shocked at how good they look. I just decided with my next chapter of life that I just, I'm over the acrylics. I don't want them anymore. And that's not saying forever but at least right now i need to just hop on the natural bandwagon i got gel on them and just like a nice nude color and i'm really loving them i feel like a new woman but anyways yeah i'm loving the nails that was so weird i literally just came out into my car with the keys and i already had a key still in the ignition i'm like just spacing these days you guys my dad <laughs> So I've had like my check engine light on for a while in my car. And so my dad like took it to the shop because um, my dad's the best. He basically is like, I don't know, like one of the lights must be on or like some, like a fluid is leaking or something. And so literally he goes like throughout all my car, like checking all the nooks and crannies to see what's up. I didn't close the gas cap fully. And so now my check engine light is just on and we have to go somewhere to get it turned off. I was like, could I get any stupider? <laughs> but honestly, the real question isn't even, could I get any stupider? It's what the hell would I do without my dad? Honestly, what would I do without my dad? What would I do without my family in general? They rescue me from every single situation. And obviously I need that more than probably the average person. <laughs> But anyways, I'm on my way to Sephora because I actually need a refill or maybe I'll go to Ulta. I actually need to refill my moisturizer. I'm so close to being out. And I'm also really contemplating if I get the big size of the Drunk Elephant moisturizer because it's so freaking expensive. But I want it so bad and I'm not just going to get like another mini size because it's literally 40 bucks. For a mini and 80 bucks for a big one and like why would i do that but i'm gonna go to sephora and get my stuff and then i'm probably gonna close out this vlog because this is a long one i've loved the long vlogs hopefully you guys like them too or you don't mind them at least because i'm really into them i think that they're fun and just a good way to pass time because we all need that these days but i'm gonna talk to you guys at sephora okay i'm heading into sephora and ulta because i'm realizing at my sephora they don't have what's it called first aid beauty and then at my ulta they don't have drunk elephant so <laughs> i'm gonna go into both i also still really want to try rare beauty i don't know when i'll do that probably not right now but that looks pretty cute too um they do have first aid beauty here Ooh, I need this. It's literally the last one I have to. Okay, I'm doing it. 
I'm getting them both. I'm just gonna do it. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Okay, we have secured the bag. I actually have to go to a Sephora in a JC Penny because that's how small of a town I live in. But they don't even have like Sephora's. Like it's Sephora in JC Penny. <laughs> okay, so what did I get from Sephora? What is this? Oh, Beauty Insider holiday savings event. They already have so many like little mini sets in there to like give to family. It's so cute. I love those types of gifts for like my mom or like my grandma. So I decided to just bite the bullet and get the full size oil. I mean, this is like a skincare video. Like I might as well have. So I got the big size of the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil from Drunk Elephant. This stuff is just too good. It makes your skin look so glowy and I just can't resist. And then I also got, of course, my repurchase a thousand times over the Ultra Repair Cream. Yeah, I mean, I might as well add it into the skincare routine vlog, you know, my repurchases because these are good enough products to spend your money on. This is living proof. I cannot believe how nice and sunny and warm it is lately. I know I'm still wearing a sweatshirt, but I'm actually gonna turn on the air because I'm kind of hot. It's been like kind of nice this week. It's supposed to be so nice, like back into the 60s next week, which probably isn't warm for a lot of you guys, but it's warm for Wisconsin, I will tell you. So I'm very excited about that and just warm weather, nice weather. I love the fall and when it starts to get a little bit cooler, but I like the sun. I do. But I think I'm gonna close out the vlog and say goodbye and just enjoy my Friday night. I'm just gonna hang out and I cannot keep filming if I'm gonna get this vlog up today because I just, I can't have any more footage than I already have <laughs> to edit. So I'm gonna go home, edit this. It'll be up today live in real time make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do love the vlogs as much as i do and if you're new here and you haven't already make sure to subscribe if you like these types of videos and the videos that i film so i love you guys so much i'll see you very soon in my next video more videos tons more coming soon and i love you guys